Um, then I found out uh, that my grandmother was just admitted to the hospital today, and that sucks. Because she's one of these people who, um, she never takes care of herself. I don't know if you guys have family members like this. But for like the past three years, uh, everyone in the family has been pleading with her, Grandma, please use a condom. <laughs> and, she didn't listen, so of course now she's pregnant, and um, <laughs> I'm not gonna raise another aunt. <laughs> it's, it's not happening. Mm. So my mom, uh, my mom worries a lot, and uh, she sent me a link to this website, FamilyWatchdog.us. Is anyone familiar with this? All right, <laughs> this is a site where um, you go to it, and you can type in your zip code, and then a map of your neighborhood will come up with every sex offender and violent felon in the area, with their like mugshot and what they're in for. And, uh, and so you type it in, there's like hundreds of dots. Each one representing something bad. <laughs> and, uh, and so the thing is, like, I don't understand the point of it, because there's clearly no way you can like, memorize all the evil that's in your neighborhood <laughs> and avoid it. So. Uh, I have a feeling it's like it sends the wrong message out. And I think the message is, you are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking, you know, if I were a rapist and I'd just gotten out of uh, prison, this is the site I would visit, like, immediately to find out where I would want to live. And I'd probably look up, I'm like, oh, you know, hey, Bob, uh, my name's Jim, just moved into the neighborhood. Um, I noticed that you rape, I rape. <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe we could get together. <laughs> rape, <laughs> I don't know. 